Today is the day we're going to talk about money mindset and how important it is to successful fundraising. I'm going to tell two stories to start. One, when I was 14 years old, my mom stopped paying for my hairspray. As a child of the 80s with gravity-defying hair, this was a big problem, needed a budget for hairspray. So I went to work and, you know, I make a little bit of money and then all this money goes out for the hairspray and the mousse and the perms and the curling irons and more hairspray. Contrast that with when my son was seven years old and I came home from work one day and there were dollar bills all over the front yard, in the bushes, on the porch, like basically landscaping. His approach to money hasn't changed that much. I mean, now he has a wallet and everything like that. But the thing is that he never felt like he needed stuff and he never felt like he needed money. So two totally different relationships with money. Some people are spenders, some people are savers, some people are investors, some people put their money under the mattress, some people feel guilt or shame or happiness or joy. It's all different and that is so okay. What's not okay though is when we think that our thoughts and feelings about money are the same as everybody else's. It's not okay because it's not true. And it's also because we're doing a disservice to our donors when we make assumptions about their finances based on our own feelings. For Gen Xers, I think we have another layer, which is a lot of us were raised to think that it is impolite to talk about money. So there's a little bit of deprogramming that's happening as well. When you catch yourself saying things like, I don't think they want to make a gift right now because of the economy or their daughter just got married and they paid for it or they're paying for their grandchildren's college or because it's a day that ends in Y like because we're making this stuff up often. So when we're saying these things, that's a signal to ourselves that like, OK, we're projecting um, when we're thinking things like wow, that's a lot of money, or I'm not qualified to ask for that amount of money. This is also us projecting our thoughts and feelings, maybe, you know, the way we were raised, who knows, onto our donors and their situation. So it's really important that we not do this. It's really important that we acknowledge that our donors are adults, just like us, and they will definitely tell us if it's not appropriate to talk about money, and they will tell us if now's not the right time to make a gift of that size for that project. Okay, cool. If this was helpful, give me a thumbs up or a like or a light bulb, and have a beautiful day.